minutes of your time and I hope you will honor me for just a moment because there are some extraordinary people that I want to recognize tonight as part of Lakeland Gives Back. You see these people do miraculous things each and every day in our lives and we don't notice them till we need them. Well February 10th of this year started out as an ordinary day for me. My husband and I got up, he went to the gym, I started getting ready for work. Sometime during that morning something went terribly wrong my heart went into a strange arrhythmia that I can't ever remember the name of and I collapsed and died on the floor of my bathroom. Sometime later, no one's quite sure how long my son found me in that condition, called for his sister. They called 911 and that's the first extraordinary person that God brought into my life. A Polk County 911 operator by the name of Erica. Erica's here tonight. She doesn't want to be recognized to come down here. But let's give Erica a hand for what she does each and every day. There she is. All right. They, did they talk you into it? Thank you, Erica. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. Erica hung up the instant she heard the EMTs come into the room. Polk County Fire Station 120 out on Providence Road, 98 North. And some of those guys are here tonight. There's Garrett. There's Jamie, there's Josh. Come on down, guys. Come on down. Yeah. 
they were there. They were able to get my heart started. They intubated me, got me breathing, and off we went to Lakeland Regional Medical Center. That ER staff was ready for me like they're ready for everybody who walks in that door. Let me tell you people, they looked and they said, this is not looking good. But they didn't give up and they did everything they could to make sure that I could be standing here tonight and telling you how awesome they are. My own doctor was called immediately, Dr. Philip Owen from Clark and Daughtry. I know he couldn't be here tonight. He said his family might be. If you're here, his wife and kids, stand up. I haven't had a chance to meet them. I do know that his amazing nurse practitioner, Andrea, is here tonight, possibly Deborah. Andrea, wherever you are, stand, wave. Because they came, there she is. They came immediately. And let me tell you something. We hear stories about doctors and, and how you know they're very clinical. They didn't just treat me that day, they treated my family. They went into the room with them. As you can imagine, it was very traumatic. They hugged them, they cried with them. They were caring and compassionate with them. And I will never be able to thank them enough for not only what they did for me, but for how they treated my family during that very traumatic moment. I appreciate it, Andrea. Pass it on to the rest of them. Eventually I did, uh, I was transferred to Trauma ICU, another amazing place. We are so fortunate to have a hospital by the caliber of Lakeland Regional Medical Center right here in our community, people. We are so fortunate. They have an, a procedure called Arctic Suns where they chill, chill the body down so that you can like, uh, chill out the brain and all that stuff. And I had that procedure administered. Do you know, I did the research after the fact, less than 10% of the hospitals in the United States have that procedure available. Folks, we have it right here at Lakeland Regional. Are we thankful? I'm thankful. Right. Eventually I was transferred to cardiac ICU and out onto a patient floor where again I continued to receive the best of care. And after I was better, I went down to the cath lab actually for the second time. I'd been there on the day I was admitted and things didn't look good. But things were looking better now, but they discovered I had this terrible infection. Had they proceeded with the procedure at that time, it would not have been a good thing. So once again, Lakeland Regional nurses and staff saved my life. And I just know that there were so many others that were involved, people maybe I never saw, people who were filling out paperwork and getting me the right drugs and bringing me food and, and medicine and transporting me. And I just want to right now recognize each and every person who works in any of those areas. If you're a 911 operator, an EMT, firefighter, rescue worker, doctor, nurse, staff of any kind at Lakeland Regional or any hospital, would you be willing to stand tonight so that we can all recognize what you do each and every day for our community to keep us safe, healthy, and whole? Give me one second. So it looks like I'm going to compete with who's ever singing over there, but there's one other person that I have to thank tonight, and I promise I'm done. Because it would be wrong of me not to thank the person who never left my side. In fact, they've never left my side for over 30 years, and that's my husband, Daryl. Honey, hurry. Come, 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 come. Quickly, quickly, because we're running out of time. And I've heard that if you run out of time, they put a, a you know, the little cane of right off, right off the stage you go. Sweetheart, come here. So this song is to thank you for those, not just this past February, but for those 30 years together for standing with me. Whoa! We'll get that, we'll get that train in just a second. For standing by me for 30 years. And hey, if you're here tonight with your sweetheart, this song is also for you.